So these people out here keep talking about they aborigines, but then they keep quoting Bible verses and talking about Jesus. Drop power. Be, be, king, get free or die. Heavy is the head to wear the crown. All right, brothers and sisters, kings and queens, niggas and niggas, y'all make sure y'all hit this like button on the video. Okay, right now, just hit the like button, bro. It don't cost you nothing. This message need to be out there. Okay, subscribe to King Ja Power. Go over there to the throne of King Ja Power and subscribe. Okay, subscribe and hit the notification bells on both channels. Okay, do it right now because that's what you're supposed to do when it's five. Okay, do that. Okay, because we about to heat it up. The God Ja Power YouTube page on the way. Okay, King Ja Power website on the way. The throne live streams on the way. Okay, so we. You know, a multiplicity of works. Okay. So make sure you hit the like button. Now, family, uh, I'm going to jump right in. You know, these people keep coming at me that they aborigines, but then they keep quoting these Bible verses and shit and talk about Jesus and Yahshua and shit. You all a mix of all them damn different cultures. Okay. And I guarantee you right now, niggas talk about. They got some culture, okay? But I bet you right now, they're in there watching the white man football shit. I guarantee you, you're in there watching the Cowboys, okay? The Vikings, okay? The Patriots, okay? Now, is that African culture, okay? Black culture, or is that uh, caveman culture? See, you, 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 you busted. See, you ain't out here banging on these two streets. With King Ja Power, you sitting in there eating popcorn and pig feet and shit, watching the game. Yes, you is, don't lie. Okay, see, I don't even watch that shit. The only thing I watch is the brothers playing basketball. You see what I'm saying? They try to, you know, sometimes they'll put the Marcus Garvey colors up or whatever, so I can deal with that, okay, you know, to a certain degree, okay, even though all the owners is white, okay? But today, that's not what this about, even though I'm going to get to that video. I'm going to get to that video. I'm going to show all the sports teams or whatnot and where it come from. But uh, I'm on my uh, Terminator job power mode, okay? We on, we, on, we on kill mode, okay? So let me jump straight in. Now, this right here is King job power, okay? I ain't even going to waste y'all time, so let me just get it. This right here, King job power, okay? And, you know, normally, you know, I come in and then I show y'all, you know, what you need to see. And we'll just move through the lecture. This time right here, you know, I got it right on target for y'all because you need it. OK, so, you know, in America, all every damn near everybody in it, OK, grew up a Christian. I'm just going to be real now. I just did a video that's going to pop up on the throne of King Ja Power in a minute. Is Christianity uh, toxic or good for the black community? You know what I'm saying? So go over there and check that video when it pop up. And so this right here, you know, we done lost our way. See what I'm saying? Because, you know, Christianity was used in slavery in order to control the masses of the people, okay? And so, you know, we, we talk about culture, and I say, bro, y'all, we ain't got, we grew up white man culture shit. We ain't know nothing about, you know, kings and queens and no black kings and queens. We ain't know nothing about none of that. Just keep it real. See what I'm saying? We found out about that later on in life. And see, we can't keep handing down that slave culture to the babies. You need to know your true culture. Your African culture. You can't try to be making something up on the fly. Okay. Again, like this video. You can't be making something up on the fly. See, when black people done already, you know, formulated the organizations and the uh, prescription for the solution. Okay. We already had done formulated that, you know, in the earlier days. Now, now I got some slides in here. Let me get to them. Now, if you ask King Ja Power, who is the Almighty, 
I'm going to say Emperor Haile Selassie I, the first. King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Kakari Lion of the tribe of Judah. Okay? That's what I will say. See what I'm saying? But I didn't learn about the king till later on in life because they don't teach nothing about Garvey. They don't teach nothing about the king of kings. They don't teach not, us nothing about none of that. See? And this is what I was saying uh, the other day. <clears throat> Show me a black king, a real black king, that's respected on a global scale like that. There is not one. There's not one. Okay? There's not one, and I mean, you can name many African kings or whatnot, but they was not respected by the global society. That's just real in the King of Kings was. See what I'm saying? And that's why we must learn about the King of Kings, and we're going to learn about the King of Kings because, you know, when we start them throwing live streams back up, one of the first ones we're going to do, we're going to do a whole, you know, probably two-hour session on the emperor. I'm getting all them, collecting all of my photos and getting them all together. You see what I'm saying? For the election. So be looking for it. Okay? Be looking for it. You know, I make sure I put the flyer out here. Okay? But see, I rock with a black king. See, a black God. See, when I pray, this is who I pray to. Every day, all day. There, none before, none to come. Okay? Period. The, uh, the Alpha and Omega. The, the, the end all be all. There he is right there. That's it. That's it. They already had put it down the way we need to put it down. See what I'm saying? But this lecture not about him. We build it. See what I told you? We going to build to this one. See? Well, remember, see, when I pray, this is who it, who is to. See? Period. And to all the other ancestors, you know, see, we Africans, you know, we the stolen Africans. We comprise, you can take one African in America, he got about nine different regions in his bloodstream. See what I'm saying? You know, the, the haters out there will say, ah, oh, man, DNA fake. How the hell is DNA fake? Because you seeing a lot of, you know, different places in Africa. I've been told y'all that black people in America got all them DNA strands from all them different tribes. Okay? Majority. Okay? Period. And so, I trample Babylon. See what I'm saying? King Jah Power Conquer Babylon. See what I'm saying? I don't go for none of that shit. Y'all niggas trying to vote. You want to pray and, you know, everything, every major industry, every major image, every major corporation, everything, you know, revolves around Europeans. I'm just being real. OK, that just that just real. But see, King burn all that. See what I'm saying? Donald Trump, the queen, the pope, all of that shit. See what I'm saying? Because they're going to burn in hell for what they did to our ancestors. They're going to burn for what they done. The emperor told them, say, the match was lit in Africa, but it's going to burn Europe. See what I'm saying? It's going to burn Europe. See, the most powerful people in Europe going to fall. Period. Period. See, this when the Shanti going to catch up with Queen Elizabeth in the afterlife. See what I'm saying? Going to break a damn neck. See what I'm saying? Because you're going to pay for what you've done. See? You're going to pay for what you've done. Now, white people used to say, tell the African Americans that black people and white people don't share the same heaven. Hell, I say good. Now, that mean, I don't want to live around y'all, you know, you know, in the physical and in the eat the world. Hell no. See, y'all going to get banished if y'all don't do the work of the ancestors. Y'all going to get banished to the eat the world, you know, being controlled by Europeans again. They're going to send y'all to the damn white heaven or whatnot. See what I'm saying? You're not going to be over there, you know, with the King of Kings, the Shanti, you know, all our great ancestors, Dr. Clark, Dr. Ben, Ivan Van Sertum. Just keep going. See, I can't wait to go sit at the feet of the ancestors. But right now, on the physical plane, we got work to do. See what I'm saying? You know, the elders going to keep me here longer. The ancestors going to keep me here longer and those here longer who do the work. See, you out here worshiping European gods and Arab gods and Indian gods because niggas is Christians, Islam, Buddhist, niggas is everything. Yoga. <laughs> niggas is yoga. Niggas is yoga. See what I'm saying? Niggas is in everything. See what I'm saying? But this is how it's going to be when we catch up with, with Queen Elizabeth and shit. Hold up. Now, I got something to read for y'all right quick. 
And I just want y'all to know that because we've been poisoned in America to think, you know, that, you know, Africa is a jungle and nothing. They don't have no history. It was a bunch of people that slept away the millennium and shit and never contra- contributed nothing to humanity and never contributed nothing to civilization. Them the lies that they trying to tell you, okay, to make, you know, themselves feel good, shit. But see, like I was talking about earlier, you know, I think it was this video, but the pastor always skip over the parts in the Bible when it's talking about Africa. See what I'm saying? This is what he do. See what I'm saying? He'll never read this to you. See, the Garden of Eden is in Ethiopia. Okay? Okay? The name of the first um, peace sign that is which compasses the whole land of Havila, Ethiopia. Okay? You ask the pastor, pastor what's Havila? He had to go look the shit up. See what I'm saying? How the hell? He don't, see, he been taught and trained on what to read out the Bible. He never read it from back to front. He just skip around and skip around. See what I'm saying? But when he see this shit right here, he call he, he jump right over that shit. See what I'm saying? Because he done been taught that same propaganda about Africa. Okay? Compasses the whole land of Havila, Ethiopia, where there is gold. And the gold of that land is good. Okay? There is also beryllium, onyx stones, and onyx stones, okay? Then you go to uh, Genesis. It says, the river begins in the Congo and Uganda of East Africa. You talk about the origins of humanity. The origins of black people. See, black people be trying to be scared. They be saying brown and copper and shit. They jump the motherfuckers and say gray. We the grays, man. We the aliens. Is, is you black? Is you African? No, man. No, nah, I'm alien, man. I'm alien, man. I'm a, I'm a UFO and shit. I'm from Pluto. See, they, 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 you know what I'm saying? They do anything to say they're not African. But you ain't, you know, y'all believe in all them Bible verses. Ask the pastor to read this one to you. Okay? This right here, bang on y'all. These niggas will say that the origin of, uh, uh, of civilization and humanity, you know, the first people was from America. See what I'm saying? The Bible bang on that shit. See what I'm saying? So look, the river begins in the Congo and in Uganda. From the beginning of the Nile, where God happy dwells at the foothills of the mountains of the moon. This is what they're talking about. Okay? There is still an abundance of gold and honest stones in these lands. Gold mining remains big business, often exploited by Gentile nations, white people. And Arabs, okay, okay, I read to y'all the other day, if, if Europe didn't have the resources of Africa, it'll fall into a third world country, okay, begging ass, okay, begging, okay, you can't get these black people to go to Africa, but all these Europeans and American, you know, leaders or whatnot, beg Africa for resources, okay, period, they never tell you where they got the shit from. Niggas think it come from Texan or Texaco or some shit. Where did the uh, gas come from? See, they don't even know. So, remains good business. And talk about gold mining. And that's one thing that attracted Europeans to all these damn nations. They was looking for gold. That's just, that just real. Okay? Y'all got to know that. And the name of the second river is... uh. Gihon, the same is that that compasses the whole land of Ethiopia. That shows you that Havila means Ethiopia, okay? But all of these four rivers is in Africa, okay? It's not in America. It ain't in Europe. It ain't in Asia or the Middle East or none of that shit. See what I'm saying? They lie to y'all and try to make it seem like all them places is holy and shit, but then they got to go to Africa to get the original scrolls, take pictures of something that's actually real in history. See? They don't try to steal all African history. Modern archaeologists and scientists agree that Ethiopians, Ethiopia is lo- located of the earliest humans in civilization. Ethiopians play an important part, role, and her- heritage of Israel. Okay? Because it houses all important artifacts for 
the Israelites, okay, in Ethiopia. They ain't in Israel, okay? So you can say you were Israelite goddamn Indian, but I'm an African, and I got the goddamn, all the goddamn, the, the ark and shit and all of that shit. We got that shit in, in Ethiopia. You see what I'm saying? The uh, They call that little box and shit. We got that shit in Ethiopia, okay? Ark and the covenant and shit. We got that shit in Ethiopia, okay? So you can say all the mother lands holy, but that box means the presence of God, the presence of God, okay? So, because it had houses, all Israelite artifacts, the Ark and the Covenant retained by King David, the biblical blood until the modern age, and the ancient scrolls of the Kerber Nagas reveals the unions of, of, of King Solomon and Queen Sheba, described in the book in Chronicles 9, 1 and 12, produced the son name of Belalit of David. His lineage would continue for over 3,000 years until 1974, beginning with the King of Kings, Emperor Haile Selassie I the first. Okay? So you talk about an ancient lineage. Okay? And I can show you, even in the damn metal nettle. Okay? Rastafari. See what I'm saying? That's where he get his name from. Period. Okay? See, y'all didn't know that. Hold on. I gotta move past it. Hold up. Let's go. We're going the wrong way. Now, see, this who y'all worship. See, this the God I got. This one of the this the uh man that can communicate with God and shit. And so this who y'all worship. Okay? This who y'all worship. Pope Francis and you know Pope Pope Thomas and all of them. Y'all worship all of them. See what I'm saying? When you give your, you know, soul over <coughs> to another people, which I'm gonna show that's what you're doing, okay? That's exactly what you're doing. See, these people control your soul. Okay, they say whether you're going to go to the heavens or you're going to be stuck, you know, and uh, stuck on earth. You see what I'm saying? You're going to be stuck on the planet. See them? That's why most you, people talk about ghosts. That's why most of them be damn angry. They be stuck in purgatory. Okay, purgatory forever. And then they got to pray to get to level so they can get to heaven. So. That's why they be angry, because they might not never make it through. I'm just telling I'm just telling you, can't be studying this shit too, okay? And see, when you study Christianity, it all leads back to Rome. And see, then that's Mussolini, that's the Pope, that's the Catholic Church and shit. See what I'm saying? The emperor and them was fighting against all of that. And the emperor was, was victorious. See what I'm saying? And he had to go, you know... When he was at the League of Nations, he was speaking to them. The only, the most, the Queen of England, uh, Elizabeth, was the most powerful person in the room outside of Haile Selassie. She could have stopped it all. And what did she do? She let it go on. She turned her back on the king. Okay, and let them goddamn Mussolini animals, okay, these goddamn pagans or whatnot, run up in Ethiopia. Okay, and then what's she going to do? Oh, well, you could come up here and stay with us. And he ain't really had no other choice but to do it. Because it's just like in Ghana, where they used to, if you get the gold and the stool, the war over with. If they would have captured the emperor, shit, the Ethiopians wouldn't have nothing to fight for. Okay, period. See, it would have been over. They, they got the king. If they would have got him, it would have been over. Ethiopia would have been named Baby Rome, Little Italy and shit. See, the Vatican. <laughs> It'd be something like that. See what I'm saying? And so, Maccabees 4 and 15, they ignore the honor of their forefathers and sought out the glory of the Greeks. Most of all. Most of all. See what I'm saying? Y'all out here Greeking. See, see, you talk about you got some culture. Well, damn, who culture is it? These niggas out there Q dog, Q dog, who, 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 stupid. You goofy, you a goofy, and you got people out here, man. I never denounce my my pledge or whatever. <laughs> that prove right there. Listen, man, look what, look what it's saying, Maccabee. It say they ignore the honor of their forefathers and sought out the glory of all the Greeks. 
sought out the glory of the Greeks most of all. Most of all. So y'all look at them as something. You, you don't know nothing about a black king. If you worship some goddamn Greeks, you gonna fight against anything black. Everything black, they gonna fight against it because they feel like the Greeks is the one that gave them the education that they got. Even though, as you know, certain people get to go to where civilization began, and it's not in Greece. I just showed you where the fuck it was. It's in Egypt, in Ethiopia, period. But y'all out there worshiping the Greeks and shit. But y'all trying to convince King John Power that, oh, no, nah, this the culture, the culture, the culture, the culture. What it's called? Greek culture. Nigga, this is what y'all worship. Period. I don't want to hear nothing either. See, you, that's proof. Right there. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. All that goofy shit y'all be doing. Stomping the shit in the club. Messing up the goddamn party. Okay? So, we have to create our own reality. See? They got a damn king. Enslaved mentally and physically, damn it. See, you don't even know that you a king. You only see yourself as a slave. Period. You don't see this shit right here. We don't you don't want to create your own reality. You want to live out his reality. See, you judge yourself on the white man meter. There it is right there. See, you don't want to find out your royal heritage which is your African heritage. You want to spend some white man shit, go and paint the white man Jesus black and all of that shit, because I'm going to get on you, because we talking about, you know, culture, and, you know, because when you ask these niggas what the God is, Aborigine, FBA, Negroes, I don't get no answers, okay? So this is what they had to do. To conquer a people, you must destroy the love that they have for one another. And that's exactly what they have done. Dr. Amos Wilson. That's exactly what they have done. Look at us on the internet. See, not me. I come up here and teach. Not me. I come up here. Even when they say bang, you going to learn something. See what I'm saying? It don't matter. When you click on one of my sheets, you going to learn something. That's why I choose to use slides because a picture is worth a thousand words. Period. See, you could talk people to death, but when they see it in their face, See, that make it, you know, proof when you show them an artifact. They, you know, because your eyes ain't going to lie to you. If you can't believe your own damn eyes, I don't know what's wrong with you. See, that's what the eye on the pyramid mean. See? And see, I rock with truth. See, I rock with truth and what the truth is. The pyramid, it stand, it's going to stand forever, period. So nothing I ever tell y'all going to ever go away because it's the truth. Okay? To conquer a people... You must destroy the love they have for one another. That's all that shooting and shit in the hood. All this uh, going beefing and shit on the internet, fake beefing on the internet and all this shit. And, you know, I ain't black and all of this. You must destroy the love for itself. You must destroy the image of the black man and give him your image. The white man, the snowman, Jesus. And I'm going to show him just here in a sec. See, that's what's done happen. They done destroyed, you know, the, the image. They done destroyed the black image and gave you a white image, period. That's what's done happen. Now, look. Hold on, let me get it. That's what's done happen. Now, look. This right here is the, is, is, is the, is the, is the God of the goddamn Aborigine Indians and uh, all of them. This they God right here, the white man. Shining in heaven. This is who they going to see right here. No matter what they talking about, when they close their eyes to pray, this is what they see. It used to be me too. That's how I know it's a fact. And it took a long time for me to read this, purge this image out my mind. And that's what you going to have to do. See, and y'all done held on grandmama this and grandmama that. Y'all done held on for that shit for too so long. It's going to take your ass forever. See, if grandmama knew this shit right here, she might have would have had a different thought. At the Council of Nicaea, 325 AD, which the Christian, Christian doctrines were established. So God ain't write this shit, okay? And thus began a long history 
of bloodshed and spiritual fraud. Okay? Okay? The political establishment that sought to historicalize Jesus as a physical man, okay, was the Roman uh, Emperor Constantine in 325 AD. So God didn't write that book. Constantine indeed. See, I banged on you. I banged on you. See, this is what we think right here. This is exactly what we think. See, this is what we think right here. We think that the whole world is in his hand. The whole wide world is in his hand. This is what they be singing, bro. See, this is what they be singing. See, when they, the black people be singing songs in church talk about uh, going home. Don't know that slave hymns. They talk about going back to Africa. Black people today think it's talking about dying and going to heaven to see the white man, Jesus. <laughs> when that, when you singing, you saying going home to Zion and all of this type of thing. They talking to my Africans saying they want to go back to Africa. See, see, so it was a pan-Africanism in the black church originally. See, but y'all done turned that shit now into a damn you know, a black minstrel show. Niggas is up there, a black rap show and shit. That's what the church is. You know, y'all be in the audience hooping and hollering like y'all ain't got no damn sense. Throwing money at the pastor like you, the strip club. It just a bonanza. <laughs> a goofy Christian bonanza. Now, this y'all right here after this video is hating this shit. As long as we keep them blaming each other, they'll never catch on to us. See? See, that's the snowman right there. See what I'm saying? Y'all done hating and shit fell right into that shit. See, that's y'all. Computer gangsters and shit. Got that internet thugs and shit. Internet game bangers and shit. That's what y'all is, man. <laughs> that's what y'all is, man, because y'all don't got no information. Y'all see how I just went through that right there. These goofies don't got no information and shit, okay? But they'll get up here and try to, you know, critique. King Jai Power, and I ain't got no problem with that. It just when I go to your page, I bet to see some some information I can goddamn critique. You go to your page and see it better be some on there, okay? And so, family, that was a good one right there. I hope y'all, you know, understand, man, that we been bamboozled and, and you know, you know, brainwashed or whatnot into white culture. That just period. Because you had all these little goofies out here that saying they some Aborigine Indians and all of that. Ask them who the God is. They damn sure ain't going to say no goddamn quest of cultural. <laughs> a goddamn dragon and shit. You niggas came from a dragon. Quest of cultural and shit. So who was God? All right, family. I'm going to see y'all in a minute. Jop out. Be, be, king. Get free or die. If he is dead, he would have crowned. I'm coming back tomorrow.